Hi, welcome again. My name is Ubon King and welcome to another edition of Ask Ubon King. And it is a privilege to be able to answer your questions and I don't take it for granted. For those of you that don't know, you can use this medium to ask me any question which concerns you on life, relationship, or anything, business, entrepreneurship, on even work, career, and everything. And I will be there to ask you, answer you. So you can post your questions on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook or Instagram. Once you send the question, I will pick the question up and ask you. There is actually a dedicated line you can send a whatsapp video or whatsapp message to that will get to me on this platform and the number is written on your screen here somewhere here you'll see that number and please ensure you use that number to ask your question because i walk through those numbers and i look at them and i answer them so today episode three will be answering some questions so those questions we have seen i hope it helps you to do that and um so let's get to answering the questions my name is Emmanuel Joseph, one of your followers on Instagram, with the username Emmanuel Joseph69. I've already sent you a couple of messages which you have replied. So I want to direct my question to you now. My question is that how do you manage schooling with running a business? A new one at that that will be trying to survive. That's my question for you, sir. Um, I, first of all, Emma, you, you need to prioritize yourself. Business is not a bad idea, but schooling is important because you can only earn from what you learn. Now, you need to learn first so that you can earn better. You may be making money now, you may be making a thousand, you may be making 10,000, you may be making a hundred thousand, even a million a month, but you can never grow higher than your learning skills. So if you are in school, you owe it to your parents who may have put it to school or owe it to those that have sponsored you through school to finish that education or at least go through it and get a very good grade so that they're happy that their money is not in waste. Or even if you are the one sponsoring yourself, at least you said to yourself, you took on this task to school and then you came out with good grades even as you continue your business. Now your business, you need to know what kind of hustle you're doing, what kind of business you're doing. Is it small scale or something that will engage you to travel in? Because if you travel a lot, your degrees may be limited and you may come out with a failed uh, certificate and that would not be nice. So you need to concentrate more on the schooling. It's termed. When I say termed, after three or four years, you are done with school. Now you can face business for the rest of your life or get somebody to mentor you and get it done. You know, please finish your school. It's important and learn what is needed, not wasting of time to make it better for you. So imagine yourself. Thank you for that um, question and I hope that answer helps you a bit. I have a question from Tony. Given this opportunity, I'd like to ask, have you been able to forgive and reconcile with your mother? And have, are you in touch or relating with your own siblings, especially your half-brothers and sisters? Tony, thank you for that message, and I don't take it for granted that you're asking. I, I, wisdom comes with age, especially when you get to know what is right. My Bible says, honor your father and your mother, and it shall be well, and your days be long. So what I did is that I actually came back to my mom, you know, I started going to visit her in her house, you know, and going to stay with her, you know, spend some time with her. And the communication was a bit plastic initially, but we had to work on it. And in doing that, I was able to start providing her with small succor in the house, some cash, some provisions, some, you know, some groceries. Then I took it to a monthly um, responsibility, started doing it monthly. Then I grew to the point whereby I put my mom on salary in the company. So as I speak to you, my mom has been earning a salary from the company, you know, to help in our upkeep. Number two is that um, during the time of, of um, the year, they seemed to increase her rent a few times and I was not very happy with it. So what I did was that I contributed some funds and um, was able to put her in a place where she could stay on her own, where she doesn't need to pay rent. There's adequate security, there's um, support there, and it, it helps her, so she doesn't need to pay rent, and that has been sorted out. So my mom and I were cool, my brothers and sisters were cool. Um, I, I may not talk too much because everybody has gone their own ways in different parts. We call, we speak to each other as often as we can. Um, it would have been better if we had started younger, but now people are in different parts of the world and relationship is there but not as you know um, top gear because everybody has 
their own different drive and different movements as possible. But we are good, we relate, we, we don't fight. Even my stepmom and I periodically, we, we, we talk, we, we're in good terms, no issues about that. So thanks for that question and I hope the answer has given you a closeout on that question as well. Obia Nujegbuna is asking me what are the opportunities you know, in prof uh, professional develop personal development, professional development, you know, partnerships and funding that are available to small business owners. Now, it's interesting that you wrote, what are the opportunities, you know, personal, uh, professional development, you know, partnerships and funding. I think if you work in a company, that will help a lot. So you know what the career path is and what kind of trainings they go on there. And if you are looking at somebody who wants to do business in the future, you want to learn managerial skills. Um, if you are in Nigeria, please, you could consult some of the consultant, consulting companies that offer training services. You know, you could do that or you could go to the Lagos Business School. Um, not that I'm making an advert for them, but they will also give you certain things. You could also apply to different platforms that have an executive master's program, you know, and trainings like that, both in and out of the country and that will be an investment for yourself. That helps your professional development. Get involved in LinkedIn. That is also a professional side whereby you can get to meet people. It will help you foster partnerships, ensure you have a good lawyer where you can relate to it so that whenever you are doing things like that, uh, partnerships, you have a good lawyer who will help you, protect you, and protect your investment and your asset as much as possible. When it comes to funding, there are different ways of funding. You have family and friends funding, you have a susu funding where people contribute money, then you rotate it and then you pay. You know, so you have a susu funding, you have family and friends funding. You also have, you know, um, angel investors, people that hear your ideas and also get it. Now, so whatever you do, you need to plan what kind of funding you are ready to get. You also have the banks, you know, both microfinance bank, you know, and also um, the other commercial banks who will lend funds. So it is your ideas that help and you know I always tell people start with family and friends, prove your metal. They can even raise more capital injection for you to start your business. But ensure that your business is marketable, your business is profitable because nobody will invest in a business that is not marketable, nobody will invest in a business that is not profitable and nobody will invest in a business that does not have long-term benefits. Nobody wants to do short-term, they want a business that will keep on giving them return on investment so you need to be very careful about this. Ensure that your LinkedIn uh, portal is up, you know, you're able to service your communication protocol as much as possible. So when you're talking about professional development, partnerships and funding, your communication skill has to come up to bar. You know, identify where you can meet with them and exchange ideas, relate. Chambers of Commerce is also a good one. Different Chambers of Commerce, depending on what you want to specialize on and you help yourself in improving your, improving that very well. Obianiju, I hope that helps you answer those questions. And um, number four, question four, four question is Henry Ikechuku on YouTube again. He says, how do I overcome the challenging times in business? I'm a forex trader and a stock investor and a living testimony of your teacher. First of all, thank you for listening and spending time to listen to me and also following um, investment platform. Now, one of the things I know about forex and, uh, uh, and stock investor, you, you need to help yourself, you know, by continually developing yourself in trading, in trading and that is by training and understanding the different strategies and also able to use the indicators adequately for what you do. Now, do you know the different types of trading trading and call? Those that are quick trades and then you have the regular trades. It depends on which one you are comfortable with. There are people that are comfortable with the regular trade that are able to count pips, you know, for their success. Then there are those that do the binary trading whereby they invest per minute or per minute. So whichever one works for you, based on the time available for you, you can always take that. So personal development on what trades, who are the uh, leaderboard, people on the leaderboard, you know, you spend time there and are able to learn from them. Always ensure that you develop yourself first with demo accounts before you go into live accounts. Otherwise, you can see a win today and boom, you blow your account and that will not go very well. So 
stay motivated, stay strong, look for the people that are winning in that industry and follow them and learn from them to make it better. So I want to say thank you again, Henry, for sending that question and every single person that has sent questions to this forum. You know, remember, you can send your question to this number either by video or by text and we will respond to you. So see you on our next edition, edition four on Ask Ubon King and do have a wonderful time. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification link so that you can be among those that get it first. And also watch out, Drivepreneur is coming out and Trouble TV. Enjoy, see you, bye.